Hold an all nighter. Hold an all nighter again. I can't do this anymore. How do I love myself? As much as everyone loves the holidays and it's a beautiful time filled with family, good vibes, good food, movies, and cute Christmas music, this can also be the most stressful time of year for so many. Students have midterms and finals and we're just killing ourselves cramming. Everyone is trying to get the best gifts and meals ready. And while our bank accounts, you know, they're suffering. For a lot of us, our mental health is being challenged too. Joy is in the air, but stress is also very much in the air too. People are stressed about cooking, eating, gaining weight, losing their progress during the holidays, eating too much, what they'll have to eat, how they'll get out of eating, and these thoughts can turn this time of year into a time filled with anxiety and body shaming and restriction. Every holiday season that I can remember, there wouldn't be a single one where I wasn't stressed about gaining weight, overeating the calories in my turkey dinner, stressed about how many cookies I was inhaling day after day, and the months leading up to the holidays well, that would be spent restricting, exercising more to make up the lost time that I couldn't work out, and it took all the excitement and fun and delicious meals of the holiday away. And the amount of time I wasted worrying about the numbers instead of spending time with my family and resting my mind and appreciating my life is why I'm determined to never let diet culture and the numbers that ruled my life to take away any more holiday time again. It's not only about having a well-balanced diet, it's about having a well-balanced life. And a well-balanced life means that you shouldn't feel guilty for filling up on several delicious and amazing meals during this time of year. Trust your body and treat yourself and eat for happiness Caroline. and health mentally and physically. One meal, a few days or months of indulging, or like me, a life of treating yourself to lots of delicious meals and sweets and Christmas cookies won't ruin your health or change your body forever. You actually? Is it good? Peanut butter on yogurt? Crunchy or smooth? Okay. I eat it with the yogurt? So nervous. That's pretty good. What the heck? I don't know if I'm a fan of the peanut butter. You know, one unhealthy meal is not going to cause you to gain weight, just like one healthy meal is not going to cause you to lose weight. Life is too freaking short to let food ruin and take away beautiful parts of life from you. It's the holidays, yes, but it's also your life, so eat, indulge, enjoy these moments, and stop bringing yourself down for enjoying. You can eat the damn pie and be happy and love your body at the same time. You know, the holidays, they only come around once a year. Day tomorrow morning for my exam at 12. I have an exam tomorrow at 12. You're only going to get to spend so many holidays with people you love, so instead of focusing on what foods you can and cannot eat, or how much you need to exercise, or counting the calories and weight and chocolates, focus on the people and happiness around you. Count the number of holiday movies you watch, or the amount of days until Christmas, until New Year's, and as cheesy as it sounds, count your blessings, not your calories. And it's empty. Dinner time! Hi, my because when you take that energy away from stressing about food, you can put it towards taking in and appreciating the moments that actually matter. Video deadline coming up, not even close to being done. So we're gonna pull a late nighter. Three cups of coffee here. Wish me luck. It's also important to remember that everyone's different and has different health goals, life goals, dietary restrictions, so don't compare and contrast. Don't judge others by what's on their plate, how many Christmas cookies they want to eat, how much they've decided to work out. It's their body, it's their choice, it's their choice and not your choice. So if you want to eat a salad for Christmas dinner or eight slices of pie and that's truly what your body craves, screw what anyone else is telling you, other people's judgment or negativity. So four hours later, not even close to being done. Okay, time to move upstairs. Food shaming and body shaming is so real, especially during the holidays, but just remember, even though food is such a big part of the holidays, it's not everything. All right, it's the next day. Pulled an all-nighter. Not even close to being done. Oh, I have an exam, and I have to get this video out by today. Breakfast first. Lisa's is good. It's a two and a half hour exam. See you. I just finished my exam. And now we're back to editing. My friend is calling me. 
Oh, I think you definitely burned it. Watch your back. It does not taste very good. Wonton soup. It's so hot. Dip the bean. Oh, a big bum. No. Large butt. Chunky. My mother is trying again with the granola. See, that looks fantastic. <laughs> I don't usually do this. I never really sit in front of the camera and just talk about life. Honestly, I've just been having a really rough time. I never want anyone to feel bad for me. I never want to send negative vibes. This space on YouTube is a place where I want people to come and feel safe and accepted and okay and to find happiness and strength. So I don't want to be like here being all negative and sad and depressing, you know? But honestly, like, I don't always feel that way. I don't always feel strong. I don't always feel motivated. I don't always believe in myself. I know everyone is stressed, but like, life is so stressful all the time. Like, recently I just feel drained and like overwhelmed and like I'm not enough and I'm not doing enough and I'm never doing enough. I have trouble like catching my breath sometimes. Not sometimes, like all the time. Like whenever I'm working, I just sit there and I have to focus on breathing because I can't breathe. It sounds so dumb, but like, like I can't breathe. It feels like I'm putting everything else as my priority. It's like school, YouTube, connecting and working and working and working on taking care of everything else in my life except myself. Sometimes I don't even shower for three days and like that's gross and like I need to shower but like I feel like I just don't have enough time to shower. And I love making videos and I love this community and I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. But there's just this pressure, it's like ongoing pressure that I put on myself, that YouTube puts on me, that my manager puts on me, perfectionist within me puts on me. Basically, I just feel mentally and physically exhausted. And I know we've all been there, never been this exhausted in my life. There are so many times where I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. But then I feel bad for feeling this way because I'm so grateful. Like beyond great and I hate that something I love so much is making me feel so overwhelmed. It's weighing down on me and it's affecting my health. I can feel it affecting my health, my lungs because I can't freaking breathe. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. I know. <sighs> Everyone is juggling so many things and people and feelings and I just want to tell you guys like, you're not alone. I feel overwhelmed and stressed and breathless and out of time and not skinny enough and not toned enough. Like I'm eating too much, like I don't have enough self-control, like I'm still not working hard enough. I always feel like I need to be editing or writing or brainstorming or calling someone, messaging someone, emailing someone, working harder, trying harder, doing more, doing more and doing more and doing more and more and more. And you know, sometimes you just need to come to a full stop. Like just stop and pause. Take an hour off, a day to rest, a moment to yourself, and just use like that time to breathe. <laughs> so now I literally just sit there and breathe, catch my breath, and evaluate and forgive myself and thank my body and accept that I'm not a machine and like tell myself, you know, you deserve a freaking break. You need to take a break because our mental health, that should be our number one priority and I haven't been making it mine. Beautiful day. Even though I haven't slept multiple days. My love is in the sky so beautiful. This is the first year where I don't feel drained from trying to perfect my food intake in my body, but instead from trying to perfect my life. So to all the stressed out Lindas of the world, relax. You have time to figure out who you are and what you want to do, and you don't need to know and plan everything out. It's okay not to know if it's going to be okay, but just trust that it'll work out. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You are you and they are them, and you're doing the best you can with what you have and who you are, and just give yourself a little bit more credit because you're amazing. And you know you're trying your best, and that's enough. Prior Prioritize you, your peace, your happiness and health and well-being, your life over anyone else's. You know, life is just too short. Don't put pressure and expectations on your life. Just do it because it makes you happy.
crab snack. Oh, it looks good. It's the holidays. Allow yourself to take care of you. Gift yourself time to spend with you or your family or your pet or Netflix. Self-care, self-love, taking care of you and your mind and your body. Oh, thank you. Picking yourself isn't selfish. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. I'm so f***ing tired. Mmm. Busiest I've ever seen. Give yourself the same care and attention you give your homework, your family, your pets, your work, your best friends. And then give yourself even more because you deserve it. Holds an all nighter last night again. Now it's 10 and I literally have just been laying in bed for hours because I'm mentally and physically exhausted. But that doesn't matter because the video is up. And that is literally the only thing I cared about. So there we go. We did it. I'm always like planning ahead and doing things ahead of schedule when it comes to like school assignments and studying. And this was one of the times where I was really rushed and I hate being rushed. I hate not having enough time to do everything to the best of my abilities. This video, I definitely could have made better. So when I feel rushed, I just really stressed, really anxious, can't sleep, can't do anything. It's been a lot today. No editing, nothing. Feels good. Taking care of my health year round and especially when I'm stressed during this time of year means staying active for me. Exercise because it makes you feel good, not because you want to burn off those cookies or you feel guilty for enjoying a meal with your family. Moving helps me a lot when I'm stressed or overwhelmed and honestly it's just the perfect outlet for me when I want to punch life in the face. Moving always makes me feel better because it helps remind me of my strength and how I should be proud of my body and working out helps me feel accomplished when nothing else in life is working out for me. We're not done. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. For me, that's literally sitting there and watching YouTube four hours and just doing nothing. It's working out without being in a rush to get it done. It's cooking and enjoying food with people I love. Guys, just make time to take care of you. Ooh, I also have to manage my stresses. I try my best to do this by not overloading my to-do lists, telling myself it's okay to not get everything done I want in a day. I'll have more time tomorrow. I take time to pre-plan the next week, the next month even, because it helps me visualize what I need to get done and helps me relax a little. Also, take breaks often your brain needs rest your body needs rest you can't give it a hundred percent all the time every day some days need to be filled with more time for you and less time for others wow breakfast is served might need more peanut butter this is the real and this is my tea video without some peanut butter it's a lot better than i expected what do you mean are you an oat hater i just didn't think something that looked like this would be so yummy are you saying oats are ugly are you yeah okay don't eat all of this you gotta so eat your bagel it's Christmas! Do you think the mall is Christmas spot? Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Queen. It's Christmas! It's Christmas if I. There's nothing better than when your oil and flurry is like bursting. She's so nice I though. Crush on her. She's so nice. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Is this a spine bomb? Debit cash, credit bonds, babe. Or the issuer, not the whole. It's a trading investment. So basically, when you feel out of time, low on time, still make time for self-care. Take some time off to relax, unwind, walk, watch your favorite movie, or read a good book, sleep, like actually sleep. Self-care looks different for everyone, and honestly, it can look different day to day. For me, self-care is sometimes doing what will make the next two hours difficult, but the next 10 years easier. It's like, I'll struggle for now and relax later type of situation. But it can also be realizing I have time to accomplish my goals, and taking two hours to take care of my mental health can help me now and also in the long run. 
Honestly, saying no sometimes can be the best form of self-care. Hashu, hashu. I had about 30 of them. It's okay to say no to gatherings, phone calls, hangouts, projects, people, best friends, opportunities. Sometimes you have to look out for yourself first and there's nothing wrong with that. You have to learn to say no in order to say yes to you. Blue. How is that blue? How is that pronounced blue? <sighs> it's really good. You're not supposed to be able to see Drew bought me a skirt. So play with me, play with me, play with me. Merry Christmas! It is that time. It is that time. Or both. On schedule, it's okay to do this, to rearrange your schedule, to take things off your list, to take it easy on yourself. Sometimes you have to reschedule in order to schedule time to sleep, to nap, to call someone who makes you happy, to sit and cry for therapy, to color. It's not the end of the world if you decide not to overload every day of your life with a million things to do. Take it one step at a time. Do what is best for you at your own pace. Small steps every day will make a difference in the end. Mm. Oh, really good. I'm good. Mm. I feel like this is kind of big. Big cookies aren't bad cookies. Yeah, eat all the dough. No, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a grown woman. You're a grown woman? Yeah. They burned again! Really spend time with people that make you feel better. Surround yourself with people who reflect who you want to be and how you want to feel. Ready? No. I'm ready. Oh my god. We might need to bring out the ice cream again. Are you in agreement? Am I in agreement? That goes for social media influencers, YouTubers, Instagram accounts, and people and friends in your real life too. Well, it's bigger than your head. Remember, it's okay to unfollow people in real life. Spend time with people who make you feel enough, but inspire you in some way. To laugh harder, believe in yourself, who help you strive to be a better version of you, who remind you to rest, who remind you that you are enough. Spend time with the people who make you feel at peace with who you are. My friend Drew messaged me the other day and said, Linda, do not work more than you live. Sleep, eat, drink, laugh, fun, live happy, and sometimes rest because we already know you're amazing. And no matter what you do, it'll be great. And I thought some of you guys should hear that too. Self-care is laughing. Call or spend time with that person that makes you laugh harder than anyone else. Then laugh until you cry. Then maybe actually cry because sometimes that feels good too. And honestly, laugh by yourself. Laugh at yourself. Watch a funny movie or YouTube video and just laugh. My sister's here. My cousin's too. Mm -hmm. Flipping good. Flipping. Oh. Christmas. Okay, so I've been editing for the past a million oh, hours. I've also been trying to take better care of my body through making sure I get enough protein. Oh my god, it's covered in candy canes! And my favorite way to do that is by adding high protein foods and snacks in throughout the day. Oh, stop. It's Christmas! And my new obsession, you guys already know, Bill Bar. Seriously, don't even get me started. Mm. The texture gets me every time, and it's just the best protein bar I've ever tried, and as you can tell, I eat them basically every day. The secret is to microwave them. So gooey and delicious. I also have a link in the description for 20% off, so totally go check them out. 11 out of 10. Bowser, 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 Oh, I love the burnt bottom. Cool. Yeah, really good. Mmm, the broccoli is so good, too. Be grateful. You know, I've taken a lot of my life for granted. I focused a lot of my time on my body, how I looked, what I ate, and once I started to direct my energy towards focusing on the wonderful parts of who I am and what my life is, it made me feel healthier, more energetic, less stressed and anxious, and just happier. It made me see my worth as more than just me, but everything and everyone in my life. I'm grateful for the food I have, that I can eat what I choose and have the chance to listen to my body. I'm grateful for my supportive parents, for my legs, my arms, and core, for what they allow me to do, for all the time that has passed and all the time that is to come. I'm grateful for all of you. So I want to remind you guys to take care of yourselves. If you're frustrated, breathe in, breathe out. Worried, breathe in, breathe out. Overwhelmed, confused, exhausted, excited, breathe in, breathe out. Holy shit! You. And you know what? It's okay that the only thing you did today was breathe. Be proud of that and be okay with that. And finally, let go of the things taking space in your life that don't bring you happiness or serve a purpose. I'm sorry, pancakes, but this may be better. Oh my god. Is it good?
Is this real? Like, this isn't a protein bar. Like, this shouldn't be, like, what? I told you I wasn't boosted. Just put capsule, please. Let go of the people who don't want the best for you. Let go of the past, the mistakes you've made, the mistakes others have made. Let go of the hold that food has on you, that your reflection has on you, the hold that voice in your head has on you. <laughs> Get under it! We can't move forward in our lives if we're constantly holding on to what happened and the what ifs. So long silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. That sounds really kind of stiff. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Oh. So long burning slowly. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's good. She is definitely like fake. It's kind of good. But I like it. <laughs> take the bigger piece. No, you can take the bigger piece. Oh, yeah. That's for you. This is what I need to do. I have just demolish entire pizzas at a time. Oh, it looks so ugly. But it tastes so good. Ma, why is there no saucies this time? Saucies. Ma, it's not as good as before. It's still good, though. Isn't that good? No, it's really good. Thank you. It's different. Here, show me the bowl. Oh, true. Sometimes you're just gonna get lost in the mood moment. about it too Don't worry about anything. And just like. It's a little bit of a movement. <laughs> no, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. No, I got it. 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 Oh! You know how many cookie doughs are coming out here? I found uh, a clip of my face. What's that? Yeah. Oh, Where are the freaking brownies? Push yourself. Challenge yourself. Have huge goals. Terrifying goals. Be brave and courageous and fight for what you love and work hard. Work so hard for what you love, but be gentle with yourself. I want you guys to know it's okay to have moments like me where you can't function, you're so stressed about everything, and you hate you and life and your body and everything just sucks, but there's always beautiful things in life that we forget about in those moments that have the ability to bring us back. Watching Queen's Gambit. Mm -hmm. Eating cookies. <laughs> Oh my god. We found a brownie attacking him. Oh my god. Whether if your happiness is finding brownie chunks in your ice cream, looking forward to the winter break, family coming home for the holidays, a delicious meal, eating ice cream with your friend, the first snow, whatever it is for you. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or down or hopeless or you just feel like you can't catch your breath, just stop. Hold on to the things that make you happiest. Remember that you are incredible and pick yourself up and just continue to breathe. So yeah, enjoy the holidays, spend time with family, but also spend time with yourself. Laugh, eat, move, rest, have the time of your life, but don't forget to just breathe. Hello, how do you rate Ariana Grande's new album? Okay.